this is not a sponsored video. Gear review! Ow, fuck! I added my aperture light. I did a nice review of this if you're curious about this light. It's the size of a credit card and it's super bright. I've been using it in my setup lately just to give it like a nice little bit of light on the side there but uh, I don't have a good way to mount it so I just have one of my Goodwill cameras. <laughs> That's my light stand. Anyway. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to Sweet Lou Photography. Let's just get this out of here. So today we're looking at this, the Keypix Smartphone Picture Printer. It's made by Tomy, and they, they make Zoids. That, those were cool toys, so I'm hoping... Let's get that lens cap out of there. I'm hoping that this is cool. I haven't opened it yet or anything. But the idea is that you put your smartphone on the top, and it shoots down pinhole style, I assume, and it prints out a Fujifilm Instax of your phone's photo. I don't know. Let's check it out. Now before we get crazy with my unboxing and my first use of this device, I want to talk a little bit about what it is. With the holiday season right around the corner, a lot of people are wondering what to get the loved ones in their life who happen to be into this lovely field of photography like we are uh, for Christmas or Kwanzaa or whatever holiday you're into. This is an interesting choice. You can get some pretty cool results with it. The idea is you use your smartphone to project an image down through the pinhole, hit the shutter button, it exposes your paper, and then you hand crank out a Instax mini print of whatever was on your phone screen. So it's a cool system. It feels very analog, but still digital. There are a few problems with the prints, however. You consistently see roller marks on your photos as you print them out. I'm assuming it's because of the crank. There's also a ton of vignettes yet on a lot of my images that I noticed that wasn't present on the phone screen. I'm assuming it's because there's no real shield from the light. So when you hit the shutter button, sure the light from your phone is exposing the paper, but I imagine the ambient light in the room is also going to affect the way your photos print out. But it is a cool mobile printer. It's pretty small. The build is pretty flimsy. I don't feel great about putting my phone on top of there just because of how plasticky and shaky it feels. But you get what you pay for. 40 bucks, this is a cool little toy. Plus, I got it on Cyber Monday, so it was $21.99, so pretty good deal. It's quirky. I feel like the biggest use for me is gonna be when I'm hanging out with my other friends who are into photography, and I can just pull it out and say, hey, check this thing out. This is pretty cool. Keep in mind, too, you do have to buy the film for it. If you buy this as a gift for someone, you will have to buy a pack of film to go along with it, otherwise they won't be able to use it. No batteries required, though. All right, so now let's check out in real time unboxing it, using it, and all that fun stuff, and we'll talk about some other issues that came up while I was using it. It does have a little bit of instructions on the side where basically you unfold it, put the smartphone on, and then twist the, I don't know. Well, we'll figure this out together. Okay, so it's got some nice bubble wrap. The uh, packaging's pretty, pretty decent. Here it is, okay. What the fuck is this? For better picture quality, read instructions carefully. So here's the unit. What an absolute unit. Okay, so I have a pack of Instax Mini, so we're just gonna, let's just. Okay, let's just get that bread, you know. So now before we put that in too, we can actually see this. So basically this right here, you can see right there when you pull that, that's the shutter and it just exposes the paper. So there's the dark frame. All right, so now let's set this up for real. What we do is we pop this out, we close these in, and then this becomes There we go. That holds it all together. It's not super sturdy and then you put the phone on like that. It shines the picture down, you press the shutter button, and then there you go. Alright, so let's test this out. I'm going to choose a picture real quick, and I'm going to wipe my screen because my screen's a little dirty. Alright, so we're going to start by using this cool picture here. So I'm going to just put that down right on there, I guess. 
And let's see what happens. First picture, going in. And now, I think we just cr crank it. The crank gets really weird. Sometimes it feels like it gets stuck and it won't even spit out the photo paper. Oh, fuck. That one is developing, okay. It's just got weird like roller marks all over it. It really feels like after you get the first frame or two out, the whole thing goes a lot more smoothly, but those first two frames get really weird in terms of cranking them out. Now we'll just give this the old twisty. As you can see, a uh, frame is still coming out. So somewhere along the line there, the number got skewed and I don't know how many it's off by, but it is incorrect. So we'll just keep going until we're out of paper. Oh, here comes another. Nope, there goes another frame. Yeah, there you go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's the whole roll. Isn't it crazy how many shots I had when I had zero? I had no shots left and it still worked. Oh my God. So to put a bow on things here, <gasps> Christmas pun. Very nice, unintentional. I think this is a cool piece. I really enjoyed using it. It's a lot of fun. It's not perfect. It's just one of those artsy things. You're just meant to enjoy it. I don't think you're gonna be getting Hasselblad images out of this thing. The device does have issues with the rollers. I feel like those need to be smoothed out and maybe using it over time will smooth those out. And it seems like the brighter the photo, the better it's gonna print. The darker ones really show those roller lines. The vignette is pretty intense on some of the pictures. And I think the upcoming printer from Holga in early 2019 is gonna fix that issue because they have that sun shade on the side. That'll probably keep all the ambient light out of there and prevent the vignette. I'm also really not a big fan of how flimsy it feels. It does feel a little precarious leaving your phone on top of it. The little counter on the bottom that indicates how many shots you have left is kind of frustrating too. The fact that it's not accurate depending on how it rolled out and again that might just be my unit but also just the fact that it's on the bottom like why not put that somewhere where you can uh, see it. And just something else to keep in mind, the orientation of your phone matters. As you probably noticed, a bunch of my prints were upside down because I was putting my phone on the wrong way. But apart from some of those design flaws, I mean, the thing functions, and it's pretty damn cool to be able to say, yeah, that's just a pinhole hand-cranked Instax. I can't lie and say I don't think it's pretty awesome. To me, it's, it's kind of more the process of the thing. I, I enjoy that manual cranking it and, and, and having these prints. The photos come out a little bit dark but the quality is pretty good but if you're gonna buy this you have to understand the fact that the photos are not gonna be perfect and they are not gonna be pristine there's definitely gonna be some imperfections introduced is it gonna replace something like the Instax Share SP2 mobile printer? Uh, no, that, that's far superior. But it's a cool gift for a photographer. So next time you're about to go buy one of those coffee mugs, either watch Noptop's latest video where you can turn it into a lamp because that was pretty fucking cool, or get this. It's, uh, it's a cool gift, I like it a lot. So that's, uh, that's all I got, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like the kind of unboxing first experience with it. I did this review a little bit differently than I normally did and I would love some feedback on that and I have a ton of videos to get through for the end of this year there's a lot of stuff going on so stick around make sure you hit that subscribe button because I uh, I upload every week so yeah if you like my annoying voice then there you go all right uh, 
Take care. So today we're looking at this. It's a Keypix smartphone picture. <laughs> Let's do that again. Is it gonna replace something like the far superior Instax Mini SP2, whatever the, the mobile printer one? I... <laughs> I'm so good at this. Fuck. 